Okay, now this... This is one of the weirdest stories I've ever seen in my life. Hello again, I'm back. Ignore all this stuff in the background if you see it, I'm trying to change mattresses, so... Yeah, there's some other complicated stuff going on with that, so just ignore that stuff in the background for a minute. But I had to make a video on this because this story is just so weird and odd that it deserves a video on its own. So a man from Padua, Italy was just acquitted on charges of failing to pay child support by paying it in pizzas. In fucking pizza pies. The main main mentioned here is 50 year old pizza baker Nick Latoso, who divorced his wife in 2002 and up until 2008, he was paying the required child support 400 euros that was required. Until 2008, when Italy got hit with a big economic crisis and he ran out of money. His brilliant solution to not paying the child support was to pay the child support in 400 euros worth of pizzas, calzones, and other baked goods from his takeout pizza place. He kept doing this from 2008 to 2010 until his pizza shop eventually closed from not being able to pay his employees because he had no money. At the time of the pizza payments, his daughter was 12 and the mother, not being a dumbass, refused to take the pizza compensation as a form of beggar's change in her words. And since she was fed up with it, he fi she finally filed charges against the guy for not actually paying the child support, just giving them pizzas the whole time. And guess what? They they let him go. He's going away scot-free. The court acquitted him on the charges because he was on true economic times, as they say in the court case here, and he just had no money to pay the child support. So he was kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. They also mentioned that he was following all custody obligations by going to visit the child when he was required to and helping build a positive relationship with the step-siblings. The relationship between the mother and the daughter eventually broke down in 2011 and forced the daughter to move in with the father. So I guess it kind of all worked out in his favor in the end. I, I really don't know what to think of this. The guy clearly didn't have enough money to pay the child support. He was pretty much broke. So he had to find some way to do it and I guess he just thought the pizza route. But I still think the mother still has some, a good case against him because just just sending pizzas to the house is not going to be enough. Just, you got to pay the child support, dude. I, re I really don't know who's in the right here. Is it the pizza guy because he didn't have enough money to pay it so he had to find some way to do it? Or is it the mother who was uh, understandably pissed for just the pizza stuff? Anyways, I don't know. That's That's just a weird story I found on the internet. Who is in the right? Tell me down in the comments below, who do you think is in the right here? Is it the man or is it the wife? Can't wait to see your responses down in the comments below. Anyways, that's all I kind of wanted to talk about with you guys today. I just found that an interesting story, so I wanted to talk about it. So yeah, bye.